In this slide, we will see the biosynthesis and storage of thyroid hormone. That is a very important topic regarding the thyroid gland. Thyroid hormone in the form of thyroxine or T4 and triiodothyronine or T3 are synthesized from the tyrosine and iodine and iodine molecule with the help of enzyme complex that is called as peroxidase. Let's see the stages. Steps in synthesis of thyroid hormones are first is iodine trapping that is the entry of iodide ion into the thyroid follicle. The second step is synthesis and secretion of thyroglobulin molecule that is a large glycoprotein molecule. The third stage is oxidation of iodide. So here iodide, iodide is convert, converted into the iodine molecule and then organification of thyroglobulin molecule that is iodination of this thyroglobulin molecule. The fifth one and final step is coupling reaction of this iodinated thyroglobulin molecule. So here thyroid hormone are synthesized in the form of T3 and T4. Finally, this stored this synthesized thyroid hormone is stored into the thyroid lumen as the colloidal substance. So let's see all these steps one by one in detail. So here is the first step that is called as iodine trapping. In this step, iodide molecule from the plasma enter into the thyroid follicular cell via the basal membrane of thyroid follicular cell. This iodide entry is depend on sodium iodide symporter or sodium iodide co-transporter system. As this iodide entry is against the chem electrochemical gradient because thyroid iodide and plasma iodide ratio normally is 30 is to 1. So this moment is against the electrochemical gradient. So that's need energy. This comes from the ATPs dependent sodium potassium pump. This entry can be inhibited by the thiocyanates and perchlorate. These are called as antithyroid substances and used in the treatment of hyperthyroidism. This entry of iodide ion is stimulated with the help of thyroid stimulating hormone that comes from the antinepitutary gland. This thyroid stimulating hormone can increase the thyroid iodide and plasma iodide ratio up to 100 is to 1. So this is the first step in thyroid hormone synthesis that is called as iodine trapping. Now come to the second step of thyroid hormone synthesis that is called as synthesis and secretion of thyroglobulin molecule. The synthesis of thyroglobulin molecule occur at the rough endoplasmic reticulum of thyroid follicular cell. So let's see the formation of this thyroglobulin molecule on rough endoplasmic reticulum of thyroid follicular cells. The amino acids with the help of messenger RNA on rough endoplasmic reticulum forms the peptide molecule having molecular weight of 330,000. These peptide molecules then form a dimer. So molecular weight becomes 660,000. This peptide molecule having dimer then transported to the Golgi apparatus. Here on Golgi apparatus, this peptide molecule dimer combined with the carbohydrate molecule and finally form the thyroglobulin molecule. This thyroglobulin molecule store or secret from this Golgi apparatus inside the vesicle. This vesicle containing thyroglobulin molecule travel toward the apical membrane of thyroid follicular cells and finally enter into the colloidal substance of thyroid lumen. So this is the how thyroglobulin molecule synthesized on rough endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus and finally secreted to the colloid substance of thyroid gland. Now come back to the previous slide. So this was the synthesis of thyroglobulin molecule in 
step two. So here on the Golgi apparatus, this thyroglobulin molecule synthesized, and then stored in the vesicle, in the follicular cell, and then move and enter into the follicular lumen. So that is the second step that is called as synthesis and secretion of thyroglobulin molecule. Now come to the third stage that is called as oxidation of iodide. As we have discussed that iodide ion enter into the thyroid follicle cells. Just after entering these iodide ion move toward the apical surface of thyroid follicular cells. Here these iodide ion enter into the follicular lumen with the help of pendrine that is the sodium independent iodide or chloride transporter. This pendrine was first discovered in the patient with the pendrate syndrome. He has thyroid dysfunction. That's why it is called as pendrine. After entering this iodide molecule into the follicular lumen, the third step start that is called as oxidation of iodine. This oxidation occurs in the form of thyroid peroxidase. See here. With the help of NADPH dependent system, one oxygen molecule convert into the hydrogen peroxide and that is the immediate acceptor of electron from the iodide. So finally with the help of this hydrogen peroxide and in the presence of thyroid peroxide is enzyme this iodide oxidized into the iodine it is come to the previous slide. So this was the third step in thyroid hormone synthesis that is called as oxidation of iodide. Thiouracil, methimazole, thiourea these can inhibit this third step of oxidation of iodide while thyroid stimulating hormone stimulate this step and this oxidation occur at the apical membrane of thyroid follicle with the help of peroxidase enzyme. Now come to the fourth step that is called as organification of thyroglobulin. In another way, it is also called as iodinism of thyroglobulin molecule. Each thyroglobulin molecule contain about 140 tyrosine residue. And this tyrosine residue actually is the substrate for iodine for thyroid hormone synthesis. So because of iodinism in thyroglobulin, there is formation of monoidotyrosine and diidotyrosine. Monoidotyrosine formation occur when iodine molecule attaches to the third position of tyrosine residue and then when iodine molecule attaches at the fifth position of thyroid residue there is formation of diiodotyrosine. We will discuss in detail formation of monoidotyrosine and diiodotyrosine in next stage. So the fifth and last stage in synthesis of thyroid hormone is called as coupling reaction. In this coupling reaction, there is formation of diiodotyrosine, monoiodo T3 and T4. So what is this coupling reaction? As we discussed earlier, when tyrosine residue attaches with the iodine molecule at third position, that is called as organification of thyroglobulin, there is formation of monoiodotyrosine. Then, when iodine molecule attaches at fifth position of monoiodotyrosine, there is formation diiodotyrosine. Now after this there is start of coupling reaction in which one molecule of monoidotyrosine when combined with the diiodotyrosine there is formation of triiodotyrosine. In this iodine molecule attaches at 3, 5 and 3 days position. Like that if one molecule of diiodotyrosine attaches to the one molecule of diiodotyrosine there is formation of tetraiodotyrosine 
or thyroxine. Here iodine molecule are at 3, 5, 3 dash, 5 dash position. So that was the coupling reaction of thyroid hormone. This coupling reaction lasts for the next few minutes to an hour. Two molecules of diiodotyrosine coupled and form the T4 and one molecule of monoiodotyrosine coupled and diiodotyrosine form the T3 and one molecule of thyroglobulin contain six molecules of diiodotyrosine, seven molecules of monoiodotyrosine and two molecules of thyroxine or T4 and 0.2 molecule of T3 or triiodotyrosine. So, in one molecule of thyroglobulin, the ratio of T4 to T3 is 10 is to 1. After synthesizing this T3 and T4, this is stored in the colloid substance of Luma for several months and it is estimated that stored thyroid hormone can meet the body requirement for one to three months. Now, how does this stored thyroid hormone secret from this lumen to the capillary, capillary of uh, thyroid gland? So from here, with the help of endocytosis and proteolysis, this molecule enter into the follicular cells and secret finally into the capillary network of thyroid gland. So see here, this thyroid hormone containing thyroglobulin molecule move towards the apical surface of thyroid follicle and with the help of Magellan receptor, this thyroglobulin molecule release into the thyroid follicular cell with the help of endocytosis. Here, this thyroglobulin molecule enter toward the basal membrane of thyroid follicular cell and attaches to the lysosomal vesicles. After attaching with the lysosomal vesicle, this lysosome release the proteases enzyme and this enzyme degrade this thyroglobulin molecule and release the T3 and T4 molecule. These T3 and T4 molecule diffuses from the basal surface of thyroid follicular cell to the capillary network of thyroid follicles and remaining monoidotyrosine and diiodotyrosine with the help of iodotyrosine diiodinase degraded into the iodine and tyrosine residue. By this, this iodide and tyrosine again utilized in the formation of thyroxine hormone synthesis. In patients with congenital absence of iodine tyrosine diiodinase, MIT and DIT gets excreted into the urine and symptoms of iodine deficiency appears. So these were the steps in synthesis of thyroid hormone. So let's see in summary. So first step was iodide trapping in that iodide molecule enter from plasma to the thyroid follicular cell. The second step was synthesis and secretion of thyroglobulin molecule that occur on rough endoplasmic reticulum of thyroid follicular cell and on Golgi apparatus that is com combination of carbohydrate moiety to the peptide molecule of thyroglobulin and final thyroglobulin molecule form and store into the vesicle. From here this thyroglobulin molecule travel towards the lumen of thyroid follicle and release into the lumen of thyroid follicle. That is the second step. It is called as synthesis and secretion of thyroglobulin molecule. In third step, the entered iodide molecule move towards the uh, follicular lumen, enter into the follicular lumen with the help of pendant that is the sodium independent iodide and chloride channel. And here this iodide molecule oxidized into the iodine. That is the third step of thyroid hormone synthesis that is called as oxidation of iodide. In fourth step, this iodide, fourth step that is called as organification of thyroglobulin molecule. In this stage, this iodine combined with the tyrosine residue of thyroglobulin molecule that is called as organification of 
thyroglobin in fifth stage there is coupling reaction occur and formation of t3 and t4 occur and after synthesis synthesizing t3 and t4 this is stored in the follicular lumen as the colloidal substance and from here is secret or absorbed with the help of endocytosis into the thyroid follicle and here with the endocyte after endocytosis with the help of lysosomal enzyme this thyroglobulin molecule degrades into t3 and t4 molecule that diffuses back into the uh, capillary network of thyroid gland and mit and dit degrades again into the iodide and tyrosine residue so this was the steps in synthesis of thyroid hormone and these are the anti thyroid substances that can inhibit the synthesis of thyroid hormone like thiocyanate and perchlorate act on stage number 1 and inhibit sodium iodide synthesis from thyros thiouracil thiourea and methimazole act on the third step and inhibit thyroperoxidase enzyme so this was the synthesis of thyroid hormone and secretion of thyroid hormone